Shao and I want to talk a little bit about general education courses of Brits at Cal. So personally, I prefer to go to a college in the US than UK because I really want to be able to have chances to take courses outside of my major and I want to be surrounded with people who have um, a broad spectrum of knowledge from different majors but also um, a person doesn't have to like take courses you know to get to know a broad spectrum of knowledge it can be traveling, breathing, communicating to people and a lot of different things but I guess it's mostly because I want to be able to um, change a major or double major or just um, you know be able to take different courses when I want and at Cal, there are several course spreads. So they are art and literature, biological science, historical studies, international studies, philosophy and values, um, physical science, social and behavioral science. As a person who has majored in math and physics, physical science is something that I don't have to while well, taking specifically. Um, all my major courses would satisfy physical science most of the time and so I want to talk a little bit about well courses that I've taken for my other major um, for other brothers sorry <laughs> so for art and literature what I have taken is music 26 AC it's called music in American culture so we also have American culture requirements but it can be satisfied simultaneously was a breast requirement. Um, it's really a nice course which introduced about different music um, in America. They have introduced about like um, those kind of like uh, uh, British origin of some like some music that can be found in the U.S. or some Spanish origin or Latin American origin music. Also some African American music and also some like Asian music. Um, and etc. And for biological science, I have taken MCB61, which is called Brain, Mind, and Behavior. Um, I feel like it's really a breast like course. It's not so technical. Um, it also have like a lot of things that are dealing with like uh, imagination or some debates about some ethical related things and. Also, there are some poetic and artistic elements. So it's a really fun course. And then for the historical studies, I uh, took a course in the community college. So uh, at the University of California, you can also satisfy the breast requirements with courses in community college. And for me, I take a course called Western Civilization since 1660 at San Barbara City College in summer. I was back home in summer, so I couldn't really take most uh, breast courses. Um, at Berkeley because both courses um, at Cal I have turned offline <laughs> so I don't have that much choices and I choose this Western Civilization courses in San Barbara City College and it has been really nice so I have taken AP European History before so I feel like this is actually really easy it's kind of like a short version of AP European History um, it doesn't have much writing and it's also like only since 1660 and the textbooks are also some textbook that I have read when I um, when I prepared for the exam for AP European History three years ago but now I feel like refreshing the knowledge gave me some new points and some new reflections and also like now when I read those documents I'm not like okay this is just some ideas from famous people I have to remember but then I feel like okay I can think about this at some point and I agree with the person and this is some point that I disagree or I agree to this accent and I disagree to this accent and then uh, for the international studies, I haven't taken a course in international study yet, so I'm going to look in at like what I'm going to take later sometime. And then for the philosophy and values, I took the class called Classic 28. Now it's not classic, now it's like Asian, Greek, and Roman department. And then the course that I 
two gets called the classical myths. So it basically talk about ancient Greek and Roman myths. Um, it's a lot of really fun reading. Um, I felt like I wasn't really majoring in classics because I feel like, like you know, like to me, if I'm going to major in a literature related major, I would prefer comparative literature because I feel like Asian Greek Roman idea to me, you know, it's fun to know because it's so different from now and a lot of things today uh, in our value that that is standard is not at the time. But then to me, like, I feel like um, scenes in Asian and Roman time is more like black and white, but personally, I like scenes that um, um, doesn't have like a correct answer. So I feel like it's nice exposed to different cultures, different ideas, and different time than just like, you know, studying and focusing Asian Greek and Roman. Uh, but then, um, I feel like it's also nice, you know, like there's definitely also a lot of things that are nice and educational and meaningful if we focus in that. It's just personally, I prefer things that are more diverse. And then, um, for the physical breasts, yeah, like a bunch of them of my major courses. So I don't have to consider any courses specifically as my choice. And then for the social and behavioral science, I took a course called Cognitive Science 1, and it's just called Introduction to Cognitive Science. Um, I like the course, I really like the course. Um, we ju I just feel like it's nice to get to know some concepts in Cognitive Science, and it's really open, like it just gives you a lot of new ideas that you have never thought about. And also this is a course which have also combined like a little bit of linguistic and um, and also like it also talk a little bit about like positive psychology and etc. And also it connects uh, cognitive science to uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, they are all like a really nice idea and I also feel like sometimes like you know people don't really feel so happy and then to me I want to explore um, I, like I want to explore a little bit about like reasons behind it. Um, well, like certainly I'm majoring in math and physics, so kind of like I don't have like a deep view about those things. But it's nice to just get a little bit of them to make myself happier, I guess. So that's the breath causes, and then for the writing, we also have like two writing requirements, which. It's similar in a lot of different college, um, all have like writing courses, writing requirements. So for R1A and R1B, which are our two writing requirements, I took the uh, replacements in community college as well because I took those courses like uh, before I entered Berkeley officially and I took them online when I was back home. Uh, so I really like my replacement of R1B at uh, at the community college because it was a course that had like a lot of free writing and it's quite reflective and I have took three years of literature in my high school. I always like to like, you know, expose to different ideas, different genre of literature and reflecting things and exploring like the dark side of humanities. And just, um, just think a lot of things. They don't have like right or wrongs, and a lot of things um, can be probably like expressed in the better ways. And also think about like reflect about my life, reflect reflect about um, things happened around me, reflect about my emotions, my thoughts, my thoughts deep down, and everything. And I feel like yeah, like anyone should. Uh, read something from different types of literature and I have also took some other like courses besides physics for fun I took like uh, courses in history which is called Lady Killer Be My Perpetrator of Genocide which is fun and I also took some dance classes I am also like going, I also hope to take some other courses uh, not for like completing the breaths, but just for fun. I also hope that if I have chance, I want to take some music courses, some theater courses, some literature courses, some history courses. 
uh, so on and so forth when I have time. So that's basically about general education of breast courses at Cal and my experience of taking them. Bye!